gracious heavenly father lord we thank you for bringing us together to celebrate holy communion on the first day of this lenten season lord help us to realize the meaning of the institution of lenten season and help us to be thy true servants in our learning biblical truth in practicing our knowledge on the biblical truth in jesus name we pray amen we greet you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ on september 8 1944 before he was executed by nazis Shavrin von Swanfled wrote a will as per the will they have to erect a long oaken cross at his estate and they have to inscript the following things is will says further it is my desire that in that part of the gravel bed in my forest of satovits where the victims of the massacres of the late autumn of 1939 are laid to rest a very high oaken cross be erected as soon as the conditions of the time permits with the following inscription here lie from 1400 to 1500 christians and jews may god have mercy on their souls and on their murderers may god have mercy on their souls and on their murderers many were killed by nazis because many did not support the ideologies proposed by nazi movement german was the country where in the early 16th centuries bible was thoroughly studied many books were written on the knowledge of the biblical truth especially theology many times i have told we respect or we honor those who earn phd in theology than in only german language not in english thereby we derive or arrive at a decision that he or she who have done the doctorate in german language will have high quality of the knowledge of the biblical truth because of martin luther he was a moral theologian he was teaching in a seminary and through his education many have come to learn theology and biblical truths so therefore many books were written in german languages hardly 20 percentage of those books were translated into different languages including english and there is a saying theology was created in germany corrupted in america corrected in england and contextualized in asia in india and therefore general public believers in the church were able to learn many biblical truths through the well learned theologians priests and other preachers 
this man, one of uh, such person, such believer, Shavarin Fun Svan fled. Before he was executed, he wrote this will. He had life from 1,400 to 1,500 Christians and Jews. May God have mercy on their souls and their murderers. And that's how he wanted to exhibit his Christian spirituality and their murderers. Today, we are asked to reflect on the theme, Cross, a call to repentance. Cross, a call to repentance. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, verse 18. <clears throat> Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. This was written before their exile to Babylon. Isaiah wrote this book in the mid of the 8th century BC, probably sometime 742 or 743. He started teaching people in Jerusalem. After having witnessed their exile to a Syrian country, in the year, at the, at the, at the beginning of the 8th century, they have lost everything. They have lost everything. Exactly in the year 722, they have become slaves to Assyrians, Iranian, people from Iran. They invaded northern part of Palestine. After learning, after witnessing this incident, Isaiah started teaching and warning the people in southern part of Palestine, you will also be taken as slaves to Babylon, unless otherwise we repent. Isaiah first, verse 18 says, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Biblical truths were very joyfully, honestly interpreted by St. Paul. Uh, when he was writing, to letter, writing letters to various churches, he started summarizing with simple examples to all the members that one should accept Christ who was crucified on the cross. Redemption is very important. Knowing the sufferings of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross is very significant. By knowing the sufferings of our Lord Jesus Christ and by understanding the truth, you will be willing to repent and you will be redeemed in this Lenten season. Next 39 days, we will be meditating upon 40 verse from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. He did not visit Rome before and before going to Rome, he wrote this letter to the Romans where many non-Jewish were Christians in the congregation, the church. Very few, hardly 25% of the congregation <clears throat> were Jewish Christians. And therefore, this book, this letter is called Theological Books. Letter to the Romans is often called as Theological Books. We have many 
subjects to do in our theological studies. One of the very difficult subjects is Pauline thought. Many fail in that. We have college papers, 50% college papers, and 50% Senate papers. Senate of Serampur, Calcutta. This subject called Pauline thought is under Senate of Serampur. Many score more than 75 or 80 in the Gospels and the Old Testament and Psalms and the first books of the Bible, first five books of the Bible. But hardly few get past in the subject called Pauline thought. It needs a lot of study, a lot of energy, a lot of reflection. Nine book, nine letters were written to the churches, and three were pastoral letters to the as a pastor, he wrote a letter to the uh, young evangelist, Philemon, 1st Timothy and 2nd Timothy. And therefore, I want everyone to take part in this daily meditation to be held at our church daily from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. John Wesley, who started the movement along with his brother Charles Wesley, called Holy Club in the Oxford University, writes in his biography, because of the letter to the Romans, I have been transformed. I have been transformed. In the year 386, at the end of the 4th century, Augustine of Hippo, now it was in Algeria, he was very, very burdened to his mother. He moved to Milan in Rome and happened to meet with Bishop Ambrose. He was clean, keen in listening to the preaching of Bishop Ambrose. And one day it so happened, when he was in the garden that belonged to the Bishop Ambrose, he, he actually received a voice. Turn to the page and read. Turn to the page and read. And that was the page... Romans chapter 13, verses 13 and 14. Romans 13, verses 13 and 14. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery not in dissension and jealousy, rather clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. The very moment St. Augustine of Hippo was transformed, he became a new man. For all the theological students in Catholic seminaries, they have to study St. Augustine's book called Confessions. It has got five volumes written in the 5th century. Early 5th century, Augustine of Hippo, St. Augustine wrote five volumes that talk about confession. All the would be priests in Catholic seminaries. They have to study these five volumes. Let the Romans transformed him. 
Romans 12:2 Romans 12 to do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is is good pleasing and perfect will this was the officiating priest who consecrated the bread and wine during the holy communion service say every time this has become part of the prayer during the consecration of the holy bread and wine at the holy eucharist do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world but to be but be transformed by the renewing of your mind many saints have dedicated their lives in explaining interpreting the biblical truths in order to make it easy for us to learn and offer ourselves and commit ourselves to the gospel and secondly martin luther in the year 1515 before he wrote the 90 thesis in the year 1517 on 31st october he wrote 95 thesis and nailed it on the door in the church at wittenberg in germany in the year 1515 he had the joy and experience of transformation that was romans 117 117 for in the gospel a righteousness from god is revealed a righteousness that is by faith from first to last just as it is written the righteous will live by faith faith is important faith on the lord who was crucified on the cross if you have faith on the lord that is nothing but righteousness he was already a monk he was being trained by priest but only when he was 26 year old in the year 15 15 he had this experience of transformation and again john wesley who started this movement called methodism and along with his brother charles wesley in the year 1729 he had this very experience of transformation only because of reading reflecting on the letters to the romans it is in their biographies both john wesley and charles wesley there are other very two important personalities in the world of theological studies in the 20th century one is call bot is swedish man call bot call bot we call call bot and other romanian dimitru cornelisu dimitru cornelisu these two were friends and they were cat they were priests <clears throat> dimitru was a priest in orthodox church and karl bot was from reformed church romans 3:10 romans 3:23 all these verses were very much useful to them romans 310 romans 310 as it is written there is no one righteous not even one there is no one who understand no one who seeks god And by reading these verses they have become transformed persons there are many personalities to learn from them who have been benefited by reading the letter of st paul to the romans paul was such a person 
was able to relate the context where he was residing with of the truth of the good news or with of the suffering of our jesus christ on the cross the message is, is that you need to transform faith is important righteousness is important we are going to reflect eight verse only in chapter 1 of the letter to the romans romans first chapter alone we are going to reflect on eight verse within this chapter he was able to bring in many many vocabularies theological terms to teach those christians who were in rome lenten seasons invites us to read the word of god and reflect let us try to read on our own let us reflect in order to be strengthened by the spirit of our lord 40 days are given by the church to pray to fast and to read the word of god since we are not very serious there are many teachings that come in that forces us to be made slaves to those teachings biblical teachings non biblical teachings because we are exposed to various kinds of communication through facebook through whatsapp through cinemas and other tv news these are all avenues they teach us they tell us what to do since we are not very serious in reading and understanding the biblical truths we succumb to those teachings which are many ways against the word of god and therefore we are not cooperating with our lord to create a new international order to build the kingdom of god here in this earth let this lenten season be a time of reflection reading studying from the biblical truths let's pray gracious lord help us to realize our responsibilities in learning your words lord open our eyes to read the bible open our hearts to understand the meaning of the truths in order to be thy true servants in building the kingdom here in this earth in jesus name we pray amen